and there was one that which, which, which stuck with me, and indeed in the first Mr. Woke article, where you you were about to to lose your virginity, and yes. your prospective partner said that he'd never had sex with a black girl before. Um, so I just, I, I put a stop to that encounter. Actually, I lost my virginity to someone else in the end who mm. didn't say that. Um, bit of a late bloomer, so university was the place. But it, it was very off-putting, but it's also quite a common thing to happen for quite a lot of black women. Well, well tell us a bit more about that, your, your, your experience and why this, this, this mm. search for Mr. Woke, you know, it, it isn't perhaps as, uh, uh, as kind of weird, given your experiences. Yes, yeah, so I'm definitely, and from the responses that I've gotten, it's definitely, I'm not the only person that's had some of these experiences. So, for example, when I was on study abroad, um, I hooked up with this guy who is American, and I found out that actually he is what we'd call a biological racist. So he believes that um, like some races are um, just predisposed to violence, for example, or have certain behaviours that And he felt that about them. black people, did he? He did think that about black people, but not about me as an individual, which is always, I find, interesting. They always... The dissonance there doesn't make someone necessarily change their view. Um, so he actually said to me, oh, but you're not like that. And I was like, well, yeah, of course not. And no one is. No one's innately violent. But it didn't result in him then... Re re-evaluating his views. Well, did he just think that you were, a, you were an exception? Yeah, an exception to rule. a rule, yeah. Um, I make better choices now. I've, I meet much nicer people than that. Um, I mean, it does, I, was, it does yeah. I have to admit, reading the articles, it, it does sound like you've met a series of, you know, bits of work, frankly. I mean, yeah. tell us a little bit more about some of your experiences. I mean, there was a, there was a, there was a boyfriend that you had mm. who then went to India, who, who decided to get in touch. He went on a holiday and it was reflecting a lot about um, our relationship. I just played a little clip for you guys. Um, <laughs> like I've said before, when the rubber hits the road, a lot of these, these leftist uh, identitarian type things don't, don't, it don't, it don't, they don't work. This lady says she's tired of dating white men. I've said this before. You see all these people that what was that key and peel whatever the the, uh, the guy that, that directs us and all this everybody all these people want that are supposedly so goddamn woke talking about how uh, constantly talk white people this colonialism and and white people races this and that and the, and you got all these people that talk that crap and for some strange reason they're all in relationships with white people so this woman and I and I and I've said before on different videos. How, how does a dinner, dinner conversation look? How, how does that, how does a dinner conversation look, or a family reunion look, when you're when when everybody in the family reunion is saying, uh, uh, "That's the person over there that constantly talk about how racist we are." So so she's saying that she can't. Um, <laughs> she's saying that that the per that the person the white guy she's with doesn't understand white privilege and all this other crap. She's saying stuff like this because he's sitting or don't understand a lot of the things that she complains about because he's literally in a relationship with a black woman. And, and what I'm saying by this is that he's thinking to himself, well, there has to be a lot of other guys just like me. I mean, here I am in a relationship with a black woman and I don't give a crap about any of that stuff. So while, while she's sitting there complaining and saying, all oh, now I'm having all these and he can't understand it. One of the reasons he can't understand it is because here he is and a lot of other people, white people that are like him, that don't think like what she's saying. This is, this is what I'm talking about when the rubber hits the road. Leftist policies do not make any sense. When you actually enact these policies or these day-to-day these -day standards or day-to-day or, uh, -day things that, that leftists believe, when you act, when 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 you actually see them in action, it they make no sense at all. So this right here, this is an example. Because to sit there and constantly holler about white people all day, do you think a white person wants to be in a relationship with a person that does that? And and if they do, that says to me, if they if they're willing to do it, that says a lot about them. To sit there and just let you constantly complain about white people and them and uh, their brothers and mothers and all that. They, they, they constantly complain about them and here they are like 
don't have any problem with black people and stuff like that. But but I, but I, they're supposed to just sit there and listen to you bitch and complain about it the whole single time. I thought I'd just uh, 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 let you guys see that video, and uh, uh, it just it just uh, it just amazes me. But anyway, comment, like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.